The Lighthouse is the new rock. Oh my god, Robert Eggers. <laughs> I'm never gonna pronounce his name right. Robert Eggers film that stars Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. Robert Eggers directed The Witch a few years ago, and The Lighthouse is his second feature film. I thought The Witch was a good movie. Every technical aspects were masterfully done with great cinematography, an immaculate score, and almost Oscar worthy acting, and really good editing. So it was obvious that Eggers was a great director from watching that film. However, the the issues with The Witch were the lack of a compelling story, characters that I struggled to resonate, and a script that I couldn't really understand at times. I liked The Witch enough to see it twice, and I would give it a B plus. Even though I didn't love it, I could definitely tell that Eggers was a director that I needed to watch out for in the future. Watching The Lighthouse, I could tell that this is an improvement on The Witch in literally every facet. The first thing that I noticed was just how jaw-droppingly gorgeous the cinematography was. Every single frame in this movie is stunning. There's a shot in the first like minute or so of the film where you just see the lead characters from behind on a ship, and that was just the first indication to me that every shot of this film was taken with care and purpose. There are multiple long takes that go up and down buildings all the way through houses and just take the camera to seemingly impossible heights. Just so many times over and over I kept asking myself how the hell did they shoot that? If it doesn't get nominated for best cinematography at the Oscars. I actually won't be surprised because it's a horror movie and the Oscars don't like horror movies for some reason, but still, it, it deserves it. It just deserves it. The cinematography is amazing. The next thing I notice is the characters and the acting. The characters are just so rich and fleshed out. I genuinely believe them to be real people that have lives outside of what we're seeing on the screen. The performances that Eggers managed to get out of Defoe and Pattinson were captivating. Defoe might be my favorite performance I've seen all year. He needs to go so many different places with his acting. He shows so many different emotions. It's just such a well-rounded performance. He delivers several long speeches. He's just this raggedy old man who's stuck in his ways, who's a perfect foil to Pattinson's character. Pattinson's a young guy who's new to lighthouse keeping and he wants to go by the book, but Defoe's this old guy who's constantly forcing him out of his comfort zone in like every single scene. Previous to watching this film, I had only ever seen Pattinson in Twilight, which is definitely not something that he was passionate about, like, at all. Did your Twilight experience turn out to be what you expected? <laughs> oh, but here, he is magnetic. He kills this role, and I couldn't imagine anyone else playing it. Another thing that I just love about this film is how open to interpretation it is. It's clear that everything in this film isn't surface level, and that everyone can get a different experience out of it. From what I hear, there's a lot to chew on from repeat viewings, and I know I've only seen it once, but I definitely plan on seeing it over and over and over again. I just love it, and I'll probably make a video about it more long form, about my own theories about this film once it comes out on Blu-ray, probably. Another thing that I love about this film is just how overwhelming the atmosphere is. Just watching it, you constantly have this sense of dread, and that there's this atmosphere above you that's pushing down on you, and it's just such a great sense of tension just throughout every single scene. It reminds me so much of The Shining, how just the building that the characters were in feel like its own presence, and they're constantly affecting the characters. I think that this movie's gonna get compared to The Shining a lot. I don't know if it has been yet, I haven't read a whole lot about it on the internet, but it's very similar to The Shining. Robert Eggers, you hit it out of the park with this one. You blew me away. You blew away all of my expectations. This is what happens when you let a great filmmaker have the freedom to have their vision come to life. Guys, the only way that we are going to get great movies like this one being made are if you pay for them. Go see them in the theater, pay to have it on Blu-ray, please support these films because the only way that we're ever going to get any more of them is if you go out and support the release. A24 has made my favorite film of 2015, 2017, and 2018. As it stands right now, it looks like they're going to take 2019 as well. The Lighthouse is easily the best movie I've seen all year, and in case it isn't obvious already, I'm going to give it an A+.
Guys, thank you so much for the support lately. I really appreciate it. October was my most viewed month on YouTube by far. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the glorious month of Halloween with me. It was really fun making horror-related content. Anyways, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it a lot. Please subscribe for new videos. It really means a lot to me. Goodbye. Millions of Twilight fans out there just cannot wait to see this. Uh, it's very uh, almost heartbreaking because they don't want it to be over. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little bittersweet, isn't it? <sighs> um, for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah.